the documents that you are seeing here is just a photocopy of our uh, packet that we sent to USCIS. going to be our cover letter. This is the first uh, page of your application. Um, what are the things you need to include in your cover letter? First, uh, in here, uh, the top part of your cover letter should the name of your petitioner, address, and also his contact number. And then, we are filing this application to United States Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, that's USCIS, um, the address and also the date. And then I put here nature of submission, I-129F, original submission. This is very important so that the people from USCIS would know what kind of petition you are trying to file. And then and to whom it may concern, blah, blah, blah. Um, the first paragraph will be the name of the petitioner, I, name of the petitioner, writing this letter to file I-129F, petition for K-1 visa for the main beneficiary, and if you have K-2, please include their names, and then comma for your review. On the next paragraph, enclosed, please see my form I-129F supporting documents of this petition as they appear in order. They appear in order, meaning uh, from the very first um, document up to the last part should be organized as it is. Um, in our case, this is just uh, your option, but what I did is I, I divided the documents into four. First one for the petitioner, K1 for the uh, main beneficiary, K2 and the evidence of genuine relationship. Um, this part for the petitioner's documents first will be the form g1450 authorization for credit card transaction this is the mode of payment we chose because this is the most convenient uh, way for us to pay the application fee of 535 dollars so if because other people chose to pay their um, application fee through check or um, money order but in our case we choose we chose credit card so if you guys want to pay your application through credit card all you just have to do is to include uh, this form in your packet and the following document will be form 1i29f the the form that your petitioner should sign and accomplish this one form i want to an m supplementary document I will be explaining this later on. Um, next document will be G1145 form, e-notification of application and petition acceptance. This form um, you have to accomplish if you want to receive notification through text, message, or email. Um, this, is good. this is really uh, helpful because after they received your application, you will receive a text message from USCIS that um, saying, hey, we received your application and we are reviewing it, blah, blah, blah. And also, from the text message you will receive, there is the um, ticket number of your application. And that would be very helpful for you guys to track it online. And then I included one piece 2 by 2 passport style photograph of my petitioner with the name on the back. Also, certificate of naturalization since my petitioner is a former Filipino and he uh, he acquired his citizenship through naturalization. Um, U.S. passport bio page. Uh, guys, always remember if you are going to submit a scanned copy of your passport, you don't have to include all the pages of it. Um, especially if there's nothing on those pages all you have to do is uh scan the by page because that is important we're in in that page you can see everything like all the information that uh uscis needed a birth certificate of him since he is a filipino so his birth certificate is from the philippines and lastly letter of intent to marry the beneficiary this 
uh, document is really important because we don't want any RFE, meaning USCIS would would request for more evidence of your of your application. I will be explaining later on about uh, the letter of intent of letter of intent. Now let's move on to K-1 beneficiary documents. Actually, I put two pieces of um, two by two passport style, like with the name at the back. Uh, actually, we they only have they only need one, but I just included two just in case they misplace the of uh, the other one, so they have backup. Uh, passport bio page uh, again you, you don't have to photocopy every page of your passport most especially if there is no stamps or anything on it all they need is just the information written on the bio page next one birth certificate i just included it but yeah and then letter of intent to marry the petitioner k2 again one by one uh, two by two passport style photograph photograph but here in the philippines we call it um u.s visa uh, picture style um also passport bio page birth certificate and affidavit of acknowledgement or admission of paternity since i gave birth to my k2 and we're not yet married so that's why we have that document it is an attachment of of her birth certificate and then lastly for the evidence of genuine relationship i included three first proof of having met each other for the last two years 24 pages and what are the things that i included in this part are pictures uh, pictures of us pictures with friends and family and also chat and call logs just um screenshots of your chats with your petitioner emails yes we send emails to each other like a cheesy email <laughs> and then facebook post mostly this is my facebook posts because i am the one who's always posting something on facebook and also hotel booking uh, this is just also a screenshot from the receipt that i have we have received on email also next is proof of travel this is um, more of my petitioner's passport stamps, plane ticket itinerary, because he's the one flying here to the Philippines to meet me and to see our daughter. And lastly, proof of financial support to the beneficiaries, 10 pages. Yes, that is 10 pages because I included everything from the very first time he sent me money to support my pregnancy and my baby. But if you don't have a K2, I don't suggest to put everything as a genuine, as a genuine relationship uh, evidence because they might have a negative idea that you are milking your petitioner even though you are not. So uh, what I suggest is that just uh, include three to five receipts of the remittances and that's fine. I, what, I included this just I included everything just because I want to prove them that my petitioner is being responsible for his baby. Because just a little trivia, when he was uh, applying for the naturalization, uh, he was asked by the consular officer to to send more evidence to them to make sure that he is being responsible to our child. He is supporting like financially to the baby, and that's what I did. I included every of uh, the bank statements and the photocopy of money transfer receipts to let them know that yes he is a responsible father lastly the paragraph that you will see on your packet will be this one copies of documents sub submitted are photocopies of an altered documents and i understand that i may be required to submit original documents to an immigration or consular consular office at a later date meaning um Every documents that you have uh, included in the packet, you have the original copy of it. And if they ask for the original, uh, for the original document, you are you can and you are able to provide it for them. Now, every part, I have partitioned one 
uh, designated one page as partition like this one. Okay. Petitioners, documents, everything in here like that. Um, I'm not gonna show you this forms because we got um, important details that I want to show you guys because it's really personal just for safety purposes. Um, we will skip and I will show you the letter of intent to marry. This is the letter of intent of my petitioner. In this part, his name, uh, his address, and his contact number, and address to USCIS, of course, date to whom it may concern, his full name saying that um, I, name of the petitioner, do hereby state that I am legally able and willing to marry the beneficiary and intend to do so within 90 days of her arrival into the United States using K-1 visa. And then full name and his signature with date. The supplement document. This one. Because uh, in I-129F, part 2, information about your beneficiary, item number 54, page 8, they will ask you to tell how the petitioner and the beneficiary met so basically we just put uh the summary of our love story here and then my, my petitioner put his name at the end and then he signed it and, and now here is the k1 beneficiary documents passport style picture what i did here is like this this is just a scanned copy okay um i put a zip lock here and then I taped it here and at the bottom so that they could easily uh, get my picture from the zip lock and then same with my K2 so I'm not gonna show you guys there cuz everything in here is just the same Let's move on to the evidence of genuine relationship. Proof of having met each other for the last two years. This is what I what it looks like. Uh, it's like a, a like story in album form. Like this is our first year, 2015. Yes, we've been together for five years. I included our pictures with captions and everything. This is what I'm telling you guys. This is a screenshot of my post on Facebook and also email. And email, I put like uh, an English subtitle here because it's in Filipino language to help the consular officer to understand what what we are trying to say on email. And also, I included pictures so that I included the, the, the place and the date and also here yeah all everything is facebook post with captions and in here yeah this is going to be the last page of our first year video calls your video calls and also here i put like a summary at the end of our first year together and then yeah call chat logs i put which year? Year 2015. Since since um, we've been together for five years, I didn't include um, a lot of screenshots because it will be really long and crucial. So what I did, I just screenshot um, some one in every two months. So January, March, May, July, September, and December no November November yeah that's what I did and then just just six screenshots in every year second year um our first anniversary like almost always Facebook pay um Facebook post Facebook po post pictures with captions and also a summary here and another screenshot six screenshots in that year then second year and so on and so forth like that oh by the way it's really important for you guys to include pictures with other people like this family friends so that uh, they would know to prove that your relationship is genuine 
and here yeah there's there's um caption when and where that's important and also very important the summary of that year here this is summary third year and then lastly just like that every until and also uh, i this is the one he proposed i included the booking confirmation from agoda that's where we booked our hotel when we went to mindoro together and just yeah caption and everything and also the summary at the end of it and then chat logs in here uh proof of travels uh i included the pictures of his passport to let them know that he is flying here in the philippines to meet me and yeah at the end i put here no, during these travels, I was still a green card holder. These stamps are on my Philippine passport. My naturalization for citizenship was issued last, July 23, 2019. And my US or blue passport was issued last, September 24, 2019. Just to make them know that he is a citizen and also just to highlight, kind of highlight that I gave birth and he was still a green card holder. So they won't ask for more evidence from our K2. Because I believe there is other process if um, if the petitioner and the beneficiary has a child and the petitioner is already a citizen when the, the baby was born. And then, yeah. On the following pages, please see plane ticket at itinerary. So on this following page are the itinerary of him and also the um, remittance receipts and bank statements. That's it, guys. Just a disclaimer, guys. I am not an immigration lawyer or I'm not um, part of any agency. This is just me talking um, based on our experiences, okay? So if you guys have questions, just comment down below and I will do my very best to answer it. Sa abot ng aking makakaya. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video. And if this video helped you to your application. Please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe. Like. Share if you want to. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And see you in my next one. Bye!